Good morning, hope everyone's doing well. It's time to hit up another Raid Shadow Legends video. And I did notice something on Twitter this morning. Posted from Raid Shadow Legends by the Arbiter's Grace. New strength surges through these champions so they may better face the dangers ahead. Are we getting a little buff to these two champions? Behold the power and see how they may serve you now. I actually really like this. This is the first time I'm ever seeing a rebalance, neither of which I have mind you. And it seems that a poll is going on, which I contributed to the poll randomly because I don't have either one. So I just chose whichever one I felt like choosing. Uh, and it looks like Angar is in the lead. Which upcoming rebalance are you looking forward to the most? Over on Twitter. I love Raid on Twitter. But let's start out with a community comment of the day. This one from Yavita saying one to three or even five star gear is really throwaway gear. Even four star? Really? So do not bother to spend silver to remove them. If you have something better to replace that gear, just equip it for free by destroying the old gear. Oh, that's a good tip. I didn't realize I could destroy it and not have to pay to remove it. Good call. But four star gear, I thought that was still like okay gear. Well, I guess not. But now let's dive into the game and see what's going on here for us today. We are still diving into our campaign battles. We have tons of energy to do this as well because we are still grinding to get our Geo up to those six stars. It's insane how long it's taking me to do this. I feel very sad about it. By the way, everyone that's following me on this journey for Geomancer and just my entire account, thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't and you're considering it, well, now's a good time. Hit that sub button down below if you love Raid and you want to see what I'm doing. And for those of you that are brand new to the game, maybe have never played or maybe have put it down for a while and are considering coming back, which in my opinion is a very wise choice, you could use my QR code or my link in the description, which will give you a free champion, a bunch of free starter rewards, and right now is the best time to start playing Raid again because you can get two legendary champions for free. Yeah, you'd have a better start than I would. So use my QR code or my link down below, get yourself into Raid. By the way, those do directly support me and this journey that I'm on here on this channel. Now, another comment that we just had come through was from Nomadic Gamer 9466 saying, congrats on getting Bovos. You know what this shows me? People are watching the older videos as well, which is actually really cool. Thank you for watching. You always remember your first frag champion that you get. Mine was Orn. I don't have Orn. Getting him felt so stressful, but I'm glad I got him. I hope Bobos helps you out early game as much as Orn helped me. You know, very good uh, comment right there because it is stressful to get those fragments. You really wanna make sure you get them. You wanna get that epic champion, but when you do get them, Hopefully they could fit into your lineup and actually be beneficial for you. Bobos was for me for quite a while and possibly again in the future. But we're back in Bastion. Remember, we just dropped the video inviting people to join my clan. It still sits right now that there are no people in the clan but me. It's just me. It's it's quite lonely over here. At the point of me recording this, only four minutes ago has the video gone out where I invited everyone to join me. So we'll get there. It will happen. But clan bosses, can I attack a clan boss on my own? I guess I can. Let's do, a, let's not do quick battle. Let's actually watch it in action. It is on easy. And once we have more than one clan mate being myself in here, well, it'll be a lot more beneficial. We'll see a lot more progress being made. Hoping that we could fill this clan up this week. For me, I think that adding Rathalos to this lineup really does add a lot more damage being dealt. He's, he's a solid one. By the way, when you look at my team, 50, 60, 40, 50, 40. They're not ranked. They're not start up. They're gonna be, but it's one at a time. Right now, Geo all the way on the left, right here by my hand here, hiding a little bit. He's the next one to 60. We gotta get there soon. We gotta get there soon. I'm gonna probably put my game on auto all day uh, with whatever auto battles I have and just farm up that food. Because by the next time I do this, I really wanna have him ready to go. All right. We got 2,000 two and change damage. We're about halfway to where we were in the fight in the previous battle. We're beating him down. Now, I did hear at some point that once you get him down to half health, he deals twice as much damage. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but we'll find out because he's just about at half health right now. We do have the HP burn on him, so he's taking damage anytime that he strikes us as well, which is quite nice. He's also being poisoned by uh, Kale. He's taking strikes from Rathalos and obviously from everyone else that's on the team. Up to 3 million damage right there. Oh, it'd be so cool if I could take him down myself, but I'm not going to be able to. The belly shots must hurt his poor, 
His poor belly. Ugh, it's kind of gross, actually. Yeah. 4.3 million damage. We're keeping the team alive, actually, here. Although, we're about to lose... Who is it? Tyrell. Tyrell's about to go down. Oh, he stayed up. He's stunned. He did survive. Can we get another strike with him? It would be great. Get in there. Oh, no. Did he lose his turn? Nope. He was able to get another little bit of a strike. Almost at 5 million D. That means damage. I made that up right now. 5 million D. Yes. See, there's always ways to have fun in raid, even if you have to make them up yourself. Yeah, that's a thing. You could do that. And now we're almost up to 5.2 million D. All right, it's just down to Kale and Geo. Geo is making him hurt himself anytime he strikes. Six million damage. Can Kale get him to seven million? We are close. Come on, buddy. One more strike. Can we hit seven? We hit seven million D. Seven million D. Come on, come on, seven million D. Purple, coffee. Mmm. Holy crap, is he gonna get to eight million? Oh, close. Not bad. Let's get a round of applause going around right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. That was actually kind of cool. That was fun, and we have some rewards. We, uh, we gotta make sure that we claim all of our dailies too. We got some stuff. Shall we head over to the arena, my friends? Let's head over to the arena. We got the nuke squad going on right here. We just gotta do five of them to get our battles up. I don't believe there's an event going on inside of the game right now, which gives me anything for, actually there may be. There may be an arena event. We'll go take a look. Uh, this is a six star five five. This team actually looks very good. Do we chance it? I like chancing it sometimes. They have less power than me, but they have two fives, three fives and a six. I'm gonna go and hope that I could just strike first. We are gonna strike first. Whoa! Yes! I actually expected that to go a little bit uh, less less good. One more to go, and then we should be completing the quota for the day so we can move forward. Then I want to make sure, actually, if we're, if we're getting points to an event. So in the events, we have the Lunar Event. Ooh, what is this now? Complete special, special labeled events. Nice. Energy, battles. Ooh, XP for a day. I like that. Yes, I do. What what are the things? L summon Rush. We actually haven't been doing much summons because we don't have a double event. Dungeon Divers event starts soon. And then we have some tournaments. What's going on? Fire Knight? <laughs> no. Uh, and Champion Training Tournament. We haven't done this one either. Uh, actually, we do have so a little bit going on. Let's see what we got right here. Um, When I go to upgrade rank, do I have anything? No, we... We actually can summon some champions. Let's get some babies up in here. Wait, am I out of, I'm out of slots? What? Oh, I got all these bad boys. I gotta feed them into something. Here's the four. Let's actually feed this girl. You wanna eat? You hungry? Here, eat this. Eat that. We getting a little bit of a level? There's a little bit of a level. Let's eat that. Boop. There we go. Eat that. Da dang. Let's eat these. Ba bang, ba bang. Shall we, shall we throw a few of these into her? Ba bang. Leveled her up? She's level 40 now, right? I like pushing him up a little bit. Remember, he's not my main armager. He's just one that we have right now. And armager's skills, here all he's all filled up. So we have no need for another armager. But we'll get this and this. Boom. There you go. You want a little bit of want one of these? Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. We'll upgrade him right there too. All right, cool. Now, what do we get here? Anything? Did we get any progress? 321. All right, so we'll, we'll get a little bit moving there. Let's uh, go and claim our quest. Ba bang. Energy. Four ad artifacts upgrades. Yeah, let's do an artifact upgrade. We're basically just going to choose something that's garbage. That's not speed. We'll upgrade that. We'll upgrade it to four. And then we will sell it. We don't need it anymore. Okay, got it. Back into the campaign. We don't... Oh, wait a second. There's a dot here. Members... The first applicants to the clan! Yes! Yes! They saw the video! The video just dropped 16 minutes ago, inviting people to the clan. And yes, we got them. We're gonna accept Chalky Lad, the first person to join the clan. Welcome to the family! We got Muzzy Raid, the second person in the clan. Welcome to the club! Yes! We got a few members now. I am feeling so good. We're already stronger. Three times as strong as we were when we started this video. Oh, look at that. Muzzy's the same level as me. We're actually quite similar in power. I wonder if Muzzy started the journey alongside of me. Welcome, guys. I'm curious. How long to fill up 30? I wonder if I could do it today just from that one video dropping. 
We're gonna have to see. Wait, do we have more applications? Another, another application just came in. They're getting accepted live. Myself, 8203. You were the first, nope, not the first, the fourth member of this clan. Where's the chat? I gotta, I gotta welcome these people. Where, where is the chat? If I go, yeah, here, there, there's a chat somewhere, right? How do I get to it? I think when I'm in the battle, I could do it, right? Maybe? Now, where is that? There's a couple, ah, oh, there it is, message from the, I knew it was in here. To my clan. There you go, welcome to all the new members. You've all been featured as the newest members of the clan in tomorrow's video. That doesn't say tomorrow's. There we go. Ah, we have a family Aww. here. Do we have another clan application? Oh my god, oh my god, they're all coming in in droves! Captain Paps, we'll accept you, Captain Paps. Loy, we'll accept you, Loy. D Nice 2003, I hope you're nice. Accepted. And Nova 17 FTP accepted. The members are growing. We are powerful. We are powerful in Raid Shadow Legends. Watch out. Player 135212348, we'll accept them too. Remember though, members need to be active daily. If they're not, I'm gonna have to give them the boot. Hopefully we get some people in here too that I know that I communicate with outside of the game additionally. Let's get back into our battles though. So three is going to fours and then we also need to get some, actually, should we? Let's pull this guy out. Let's get one of the twos in there. Uh, we'll just go with all these guys. We'll try and get all these guys up to level so that they can progress themselves. Then we'll work a couple of twos up to those threes. You know, you know the process here. Uh, and in the meantime, maybe we should try to find another comment for the group. Maybe I'll go uh, find something good here. We have Big Just with the comment saying, you should unlock all your spots in the sparring pit. So when you get five four-star champions, you can get some passive leveling. Put a few brews into them at the start, get them to level 19. So you level each one at the same time and you'll be able to get a six star every week. Oh, and the rest of the time, you'll be building four stars to feed them. Build 25 so you always have five to put into the sparring pit. That's what helped me level faster. That's actually a, a good tip there, man. But is it worth utilizing the gems to open up the sparring, spit t sp uh, sparring pit spots? I hear it's worth opening them, but not leveling them up. I think I'm gonna do one or two more of these right here, and then maybe we'll feed them. We'll give them a little bit of food, a little bit of juice, so that we can get them to where they need to be for some next progression. I really wanna get my Armager up too, by the way. Geomancer's the next step, then probably Rathalos, but Armager, man, I really wanna get him up there. I feel, I feel kinda of sad that he's still only sitting at four stars. I swear, all day at work, I'm gonna leave this thing open, and I'm gonna just be doing these battles. We have energy, we got the energy to do it. How's the weekly looking? Oh, oh yeah, another ancient. We'll take it, it's an ancient, it's your birthday. It's an ancient. All right, cool. Monthly, how are we looking? We're pretty close there. Fight in the classic arena 150 times. That energy will be good. Claim the reward for completing all dailies 30 times. We're almost there. And then we get both both of these bad boys. That's easy sauce right there. More clan incomers? Another one. It's, look at this guy. The most powerful in the clan. RS0, welcome to the party. There you go, I hit the wrong button. Members, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and people already getting their one stars in for the day. They're all online. I, where is the chat? Where can I message everyone? I quite like the symbol we made, by the way. I very much do. All right, we have the clan shop. We have clan quests, which we're gonna have to start doing. Rankings, we're not ranked. Members, we got members. Info, there's plenty of info. We'll be filling that out more as well. Um, We're back here. I mean, this is, this is literally the grind right now. Maybe I'll tell you a story as we grind through this. So Armager's at 30. Let's get some food up, okay? So we can progress some of them. A story, what kind of story? Okay, I got a story for you guys. How about this? So I have two boys. I have a 11 year old and a seven year old. Both are athletic monsters. All they care about is sports. They play so many sports. I, I pay for so many sports and they're good in so many sports, which is awesome. But I have a close relationship with my boys. I, I work from home. I get to get them on the bus, get them off the bus and spend a lot of time with them. I coach a lot of their sports as well. Oh, did we get the double XP thing? I think we did. Oh, that's massive. That is massive. Thank you, double XP. I may have to actually buy that with gems because it feels good when you get it. Um, I saw a stat that by the time your kids turn 12, you've spent 
75% of the time you're gonna spend with them in their life with them already. Yeah, by the time they turn 12 years old, you spent 75% of the time that you're gonna ever spend with them with them already. But then, by the time they turn 18, you're gonna have spent 90% of the time with your kid that you're gonna see them in your entire life. So when my kids turn 18 years old, I'm only gonna see them 10% more. That's so sad when you think about that. Especially when you love your kids. Like my kids, they make me go crazy sometimes, but I really do love them. We got people joining up. Oh, we beat Demon Lord on easy. Love that. This is so good. I'm so happy we got the boost. All right, so we are leveled there, there. We're just about done with him too. So we're gonna have two, like they're gonna be ready to go up, but I gotta get the three stars to fill that place, which isn't that hard actually. Getting twos up is quite easy. So what I want you guys to let me know down below is where am I gonna get brews from? Where's the best place for me to farm brews? Okay, I need to know because once we get Geo up, I'm gonna probably wanna do a little bit of brew farming maybe for a day or two and what? See, I don't get that. I don't get that, man. How do you go down to these scrubs? Your Cal, masteried out, geared to the nine. He's doing it again. What is he doing here? Okay, I don't want those solo shots. I want the acid rain. All right, we got that level up 29, 16, 27. Oh, wow. Yeah, so two things. Where do I get those brews? Where's the best place to get them? And in your opinion, is it a good idea to buy with gems the XP pack. There's a three day XP pack for like 250 gems or something like that, or 280 gems for three days of double experience. Is that worth it? All right, what's going on right now? Let's go. Take him down, Kale. I, I'm happy with the progress. Like this is all live progress we're having right here. We just got ourselves another max level champ. We're gonna edit the team and we're gonna take him out. Oh, the forge pass complete, thank you. We're gonna pull him out. We want to throw another two, another two banger in there. Let's throw this guy in because the two bangers, they get upgraded quickly. Now, let me check this message. It just came through on my phone. All right, we got, what is it? Outlaw monk. Let's let's edit him out. We, we need to get someone else. Get the monk out of here. You're going to be used as food, big boy. We need another two star dropped in there as well. We're going to go with, oh, who's this? I'll, I'll go with them because they're cool looking. I'm a sucker for choosing the cool looking ones. This progression is straight up fireballs. Fire. Maybe I should buy like the daily gem pack so that I could just keep my account boosted with XP and energy. Like that's it, XP and energy. I don't need to buy shards, but I feel like the, the double XP is what we need. Come on, rip out their souls. Got him, got him. Max XP, we're gonna add the team. This is actually great. We're getting, the three stars are, are done. Now we need to get a bunch of twos up to three. We're going in with Ninja Boy. Uh, Ninja Boy is one that we had a relationship with in the past. He and I, we, we did take it back to the days of my karate. And um, I just kind of like having him in here. Although he doesn't stick around for long because he stinks. He stinks when I don't have him leveled. Woo, Kale Money. Kale Money. Loving the experience we're gaining. Look, we're getting like six levels every time. Yeah, six plus levels. Very nice, very, very nice. So as it sits, going back to Bastion, we're getting rewards. We got energy about to drop. We're getting passes rewards here too. We'll take that, which gives us rewards over here too. Grabbing things that we don't even know what they do yet inside of the game. We got more clan members dropping in. Holy cow, 4.27 million, big dog racing. Racine, Racine, you're with me. Gabe B. FTP, you're with me. Tree2P24, you're with me. Chudski, what does that mean? You're with me though anyway. And RGB Tony, welcome. Ah, we need like a thousand person clan. Raid Shadow Legends, can you make me my own thousand man clan? I would love that. Look at everyone's online. Always green, we're green for days. We don't mess around, we only make the plays. Here we go, another one, Dragonfly90. You're accepted into the clan. I am so happy I'm recording right now. We're literally getting live entries. This is something that only Echo can do. It's kind of magic, kind of beautiful, and we're kind of doing it. So in the tavern, let me kind of bring you into what we're gonna be doing in our next video. We're gonna be taking our three-star champions up to four stars, 
And actually, you know what we're gonna be doing in the next video? Ha ha, ha ha, I take that back. We're gonna be upgrading our champion. So three, oh, I have, I have a three-star chicken. Just one though. We need a bunch of these. So in our next video, this is, this is what I'm saying. We're gonna be taking him up. We need two more champions at five. I will be grinding today and I will make sure that we have the food needed for tomorrow to get Geomancer up to six stars. Mm, that was good. That was a good, I could give a knee like no other. And you never know when a knee's coming from down below. Thank you guys for joining my clan. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you like the journey and just like having fun in raid, consider subscribing. And again, if you have never played, haven't played in a while, or have friends that you want to introduce to raid, please share with them my QR code or my link in the description. Like I said, it keeps me thriving here on YouTube. And this channel, we've literally been doing raid videos for under two months, and we have a family here. We're starting clans and filling up with people that are legit that are gonna play, and we're really growing up a great community here on YouTube. And uh, it means a lot to me, and I really do appreciate it, and I'm having a ton of fun doing it. So we'll see you guys back here tomorrow in tomorrow's video. We'll see if we have that clan filled up, and if Geomancer's ready. Will I keep my word? Am I a man of my word? You'll have to show up and find out. I'll see you then.